All right, happy Monday. Uh, we're gonna review one of the techniques that we covered this morning, um, and it's using a hip heist to get into the guillotine position. Okay, so I'm gonna start here, seated with my partner, okay? I get to a double triceps grip on my partner, and I'm gonna shuck one arm and make an overhook. Now, when I shuck this arm, I'm giving up the underhook intentionally here, okay? As soon as I get to this overhook, I'm going to grab my own inner thigh so he can't rip his arm out. Now, obviously I can't stay here very long. As soon as I get to this overhook, I shuck his hand to the floor with my shoulder. So now when he tries to rip his arm out, it's challenging. If I stay squared up with him, he's able to rip and get out. Okay, so I shuck a hand to the floor. Now, as soon as I get to here, I'm going to look to heist on up and get to a knee to the point where my head is higher than his. If I feel Abdul's doing a good job of getting his head higher than mine, I'll start to put shoulder pressure down towards the floor. Now, as soon as I get to here, I'm gonna reach over and get to a chin strap. So I'm gonna cup his chin and catch his head here. Now, once I catch his head and I get my chest over the top of his, I'm gonna release the, under, the overhook momentarily and push his shoulder blade. Now, don't worry, I'll show you from a different angle in a second. As I push his shoulder, I turn my head and get to a high wrist position. Once I find my wrist in the right spot, I go over the arm and I grab my own elbow. From this position, I can now sit to my hip and look to finish the football guillotine. Okay, so from a different angle so you guys can see, okay, once I get my overhook, I shuck and I heist. This hand is gonna push the shoulder out of the way. Now move your arm so they can see. And as I push, my wrist travels as high as I can and I glue it to my chest. And, and now, as I push, I glue and I go and grab my elbow so that I'm here and I'm here. Kind of like I'm holding onto a football. Hence the name, football guillotine. And now from here, I swish my foot underneath me, throw the leg over the top, crunch my elbows to my hips and I get a nice easy finish for that okay now if at any point I feel I'm not able to keep this hand on the floor and he starts driving back into me not a big deal I'll use this butterfly hook catch his elbow and go into our traditional sumigashi off of that hip heist like so okay so next time you're in class sparring try the hip heist up and see if you can get either the guillotine or the sumigashi. See you on the mats.